it is my belief that things don't just happen by chance, but by proper planning. Do you have a retirement plan or simply have an investment portfolio that can use some fresh ideas? Hi, my name is Mike Ecker, and my podcast is called Investment Choices. In my podcast, I will be speaking with professionals who will be discussing alternative investment ideas that may be a good fit for your financial plans. There is more to investing than just stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. This is Mike Gecker. Welcome to my podcast, Investment Choices Other Than Stocks, Bonds, and Mutual Funds. I'm going to take a minute to wish everybody a safe uh, distancing. Uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing my mask. Thank God we're more than six feet apart. Seriously, this is serious times, and we have to take care of one another, protect one another, and observe the CDC guidelines six feet apart, wear a mask when in public if you can, and uh, we can get through this together. These are troubling times. Together, we will get through this. As my mother used to say, this too shall pass. Today, I want to talk about two different things. Uh, One is five wishes which is a living will, and the other is term life insurance. Both things I think are extremely important, especially now in today's environment. Having a living will is important. Living will is the five wishes. It's the first living will that talks about your personal, emotional, and spiritual needs, as well as the person you want to take care of, make your healthcare decisions for you, if you're unable to make them for yourself. You wish the person to make this, when you can't make the decision, that person makes the decision for you. Who are people that should have a living will? What age do you start? I really believe you should start at 18 years or older. You need to have a living will. Hopefully you'll never have to use it. But if a situation arises and you're unable to take care of yourself and make decisions for yourself, You want to put that in place early, and you can always change it throughout your life. If you're married, single, parent, adult children, friends, anyone you know should have a living will. And if they don't have one, they should really get one. Five wishes is a natural path of a living will. And I have a limited supply that if you send me your email address, we will get this out to you at no charge. That's how strongly I believe in this. It's something that you put down your wishes on how you want to be taken care of, how comfortable you want to be, what do you want said about you, um, the comfort you deserve. It's something you should discuss with your family so everybody's on the same page, people that you can trust to take care of your wishes. Everybody should be involved. If it's an attorney, your friends, your family, Everybody should know what you want to do and how Five Wishes works. Uh, It's an easy to follow pamphlet. It gives you guidelines of what to do, what to say, and is recognized in 42 states in the United States of America. Is it in your state? I'm not sure. You just have to give me an email and we'll make sure before we send it to you that the Five Wishes is okay in your state. And it should be given to an attorney once you have it filled out. Um, And that's an important thing today. Everybody, I guess that should have a living will. Which leads me into my next topic, which is term life insurance. Term life insurance has changed between old term life insurance and new term life insurance. You might say, what are the differences? Well, in the old term life insurances, you'd have death benefits death benefit protection, and sometimes terminal illness. Those policies have since changed and have been updated. And term life insurance, in my opinion, is for the living, as well as if you're not here for your family. Um, The new term life insurance has uh, death benefit protection, accelerated underwriting now, especially what's going on. There's some policies in term uh, term life insurance where you do not need a physical. What you say is what they take for the fact and you don't have to take a blood test. In some cases, every case is different. Convertibility options, what does that mean? It means that if you have a term life insurance policy years ago, 
And obviously, if you wanted to convert, it was very expensive or did not have the ability to convert. Example, if you had a 10-year term policy at the end of 10 years and you wanted a new policy, and during that 10-year period of time, you were ill and you couldn't do anything in, at that time, you couldn't get another term policy. Well, anytime during the term on some of these new policies, you can convert the term to a full life policy and actually the lower premium when term policies and usually the older policies were very expensive to convert, almost prohibitive. Uh, the lower rates today, the living benefits that they have, which I'll go into in a little while, uh, the rates have changed. We had term insurance years ago that would go 10, 15, 20 years, 30 years. Now they have term insurance that actually goes out to 40 years. So before you look at term insurance, I want to answer or question a few things because people say to me all the time, well, I can get term insurance online and it's cheaper. It's not cheaper. Term insurance is the same as if an insurance agent like myself gave, sold you a term life insurance policy or you bought it online, it's the same price. There's no difference. Any commission that's earned, anything that's, that's a fee involved, it's the same fee, the same commission, everything is in it where the insurance company takes everything and there's no difference in price. But there is a big difference in term life insurance. If you buy it online, and you buy with an insurance agent. Why do I say that? Well, if you buy something online, and let's say you go for a 10-year term insurance, which is cheaper than a 40-year term insurance, that's a cheaper rate. And you go and you see a company that says, okay, this is the application, fill it out. Well, if you have a condition, number one, and you don't put it on the application, the insurance company looks in your MIB. You might say, what's an MIB? That's your medical insurance bureau file on you. Everything that's ever happened to you medically is in your MIB file. So let's say you're a borderline diabetic, you're overweight, you were smoking six months ago and you put in an application, I'm not smoking. All that's in your MIB, your doctors supply that to the MIB and your history is there. So now you've applied for an insurance policy online the company that you applied on does not take diabetics. And all of a sudden, you didn't put down your borderline diabetic. They refuse you for putting an application in that's not truthful. You might have forgotten it. Who knows? But now you go to another insurance company and you want to get an insurance policy from the online. Well, first thing comes back is rejection. And you say, why do you get a rejection? Well, you, mis you misstated on another insurance company an application and you didn't put down your true medical history. Could have been a mistake, whatever. And now you're not blackballed, but now you are gonna have a lot of trouble trying to get an insurance policy. So by going with a company that has a cheap rate or a time frame that might fit and doesn't accept you under your conditions or what you might or might not have, then you've gone to the wrong company because you didn't get any help and support. It's like having a complicated tax return, going online and getting one of these things where you fill out numbers and everything and half the things that you filled out, you didn't fill out correctly. And you ended up paying money that you didn't have to. You want some help doing this. You don't want to put your family at financial risk and yourself also because with living benefits, term life insurance can actually be an asset to you. Uh, to protect you for the future, not an asset in dollars and cents where it's going to put money in your pocket, but it can't put money in your pocket if something was to happen to you. So my advice to everybody looking for term insurance is why guess if you need 10, 15, 20 years, 30 years, 40 year term insurance, what fits in your budget and why are you getting the term life insurance? What is it supposed to do for you? Is it supposed to, if I'm not here, take care of my family? If I have a critical illness, can I get money from the insurance policy? Who's going to tell me that? And how do I activate that? Well, again, you can go to the internet, do some research. I don't think that's a smart way to buy insurance. 
I think the smart way to get is, is somebody to work for you who's an insurance broker that can actually shop different companies for you to get you the best rates, knowing your medical history ahead of time, fill out an application properly so you don't get rejected because of a bad application, and go with a company that actually handles the risk that you might or might not have. Again, there's no cost to do it. It's smart investing. Get help. If you're investing in the stock market and you're buying and selling stocks on your own, that's okay. But somebody might be able to direct you in a different direction to your financial security. When you're doing financial planning, you want to be with a financial consultant that has options for you. So some of the living benefits that I was talking about in these new policies cover chronic illnesses. And let me just go over a couple of these. I have them right here. A chronic illness, you are unable to perform, you're unable to perform at least two activities of daily living, bathing, continuance, dressing, eating, toileting, or transferring for at least 90 days. At that point, some of these policies kick in and actually give you cash, depending on the policy and the benefits that policy is offered. Uh, they can be for 24 months. They could be shorter. They could be longer. But if something was to happen to you, and let's say it's not a terminal thing, but you were in a car accident, God forbid, both hands and your legs and your, your arms were immobile for six months or a year, the policy could actually kick in and help you at a time of financial need for yourself or for you and your family. Conversion pr uh, privileges where let's say during a 20 year term policy, you're in your 10th year, you have a young family and all of a sudden something happens to you, you've been diagnosed with a diabetic condition or God forbid a heart attack. Now you got a term insurance policy that might have five or 10 years left, but are you gonna be insurable at the end of five or 10 years? Or do you wanna convert that term policy to a permanent policy where the rate doesn't go up? So there are policies that they have really good conversion privileges. Today, there's affordable protection. With things going on the way they are, companies are looking at reduced rates where they sometimes you don't need a physical. So you really need to get somebody to help you go through this. And what are you trying to do and accomplish with term life insurance policy? There's many things that you can do and try to do. It's affordable, it's flexible, it's fast. It helps pay the mortgage, childcare, and other operating living expenses for your family. You can pay off debt, including credit cards, loans, mortgages, pay medical bills, provide funds for your children education and continue in family business. These are all backups that if you're unable to work or God forbid something happened to you, your family can continue on with those benefits. So it's at a point to really get somebody to help you look at the new insurance policies out there. Term 40 year policy was unheard of. What fits in your budget? How do you protect your family? These are troubling times. It's silly to do it alone when it doesn't cost you anything to get some help. That's it for today. I hope that was helpful. Again, I have a limited supply of the uh, five wishes, which is the living will. If you send me your email address, I will, and your home address, I will mail this out to you, your business address. I will mail this out to you at no charge. And if you're looking to get some term insurance for your family, some coverage, give me a call. There's a lot of options that you have today that you didn't have yesterday. Today's the time to look into it. Tomorrow's not the time to look into it. Again, this is Mike Gecker investment choices other than stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Everybody, please stay safe, stay distant, wear a face mask, and good health to everybody. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Remember, things just don't happen when it comes to your financial future. This is Mike Ecker, and you've been listening to Investment Choices.